So there we have it then, the Canadian Grand Prix ending just as NASCAR's uh, Toyota Safe Mart 350 starts. It means that I go straight from BTCC to F1 to NASCAR, which is quite a fun thing to have over the course. Today I know IndyCar is also one, but you miss the start there if you're watching the F1. And that was a fun race. I certainly enjoyed watching it, and there are all kinds of different narratives to follow. Firstly, was this the race of the season? Possibly. The creation of it would be because of the conditions. And, yeah, just the unpredictability of the wet and the dry. For Ferrari, it wasn't. It's was a double DNF. Largely to a degree of their own doing. Uncle did drop a lap down at one point, And, well... Science's retirement was because he didn't hold his brakes after losing control of the car. Which also got rid of poor Alex Albon from it. Neither Williams has finished the race either. Uh, though Logan Sargent's mistake was of his own doing. The other retirement? Well, it was Sergio Perez. If you were to classify him, you'd classify him as 18th. I don't think he covered enough the Grand Prix distance to be classified however and well that was all his own doing as well you wouldn't have thought that this week was the week that he signed that supposed two year extension to Red Bull given that he was knocked out in Q1 for what the second week in a row and retired from the race after a crash that was of his own doing it looked like he was trying to replicate Vettel in 2011 but did it a bit too hard. It was a race where you could tell that the Mercedes power unit had some kind of advantage. Because if you look at it, you'd see that, well, within the top 10, you have every Mercedes powered car that was still running at the end of it. They were only beaten by one non Merc power unit, that being Max Verstappen, who supposedly was dealing with different issues all weekend. What was it? It was supposedly downshifts and sometimes upshifts yesterday. Today was supposedly the suspension. But, yeah. It was quite close to decide who was the better Merc-powered team between McLaren and the Works Mercs. In the end, Lando won out. He could have possibly won the race, though looks like Verstappen had the edge over him over the course of the day. I would argue that that is the case. I would argue that it wasn't that Lando lost it during the pit window. I, I would say it was that Max was able to make the difference in the end. But well done to Lewis Hamilton there. I mean, I'm sort of glossed over the fact that Russell did get pole and tied with Verstappen the second time of a tied for pole in, well, since F1 went to three decimal places in F1 history because the other one was Charette 97, where it was a three-way tie. But, yeah, does this mean Mercedes are back? I don't know. I think if the circumstances play to Mercedes' hands, it could. I think that the other track where they are likely to have an advantage is going to be the Hogara Ring. It's where they've performed really well in recent years. I mean, it's where Lewis got his win in 2013, the sole win of that 2013 season for himself. I would say that, yeah... And that is where Mercedes is going to have their next peak. But as always, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.